What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to install mod packs with the Multi-MC Launcher. Before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get caught up on all of our latest tutorials just like this one. The Minecraft community has grown a lot over the years, but one of the biggest parts of this community has always been the modding community. With a constantly growing list of diverse mod packs that continue to push the limits of what can be done in Minecraft. In the pursuit of making mod packs easier to play than ever, a number of launchers have appeared in the community. One of the best ones being MultiMC. While MultiMC doesn't let you download and install a pack in one click, it has a fine control over your experience while still being easy to use with any mod pack. MultiMC will take any mod pack you throw at it and do all the work to get you playing as fast as possible. In this guide, we're going to look at how you can install MultiMC and use it to play your favorite mod packs. First things first, you're going to need to have Java installed on the machine that you're going to be playing your mod packs with MultiMC on. If you're not sure if you have Java or you just want to know what version of Java you have installed, you can hit the Windows key and then search About Java and then click on the About Java file. If you have Java installed, it'll show up and if you don't, it won't show up. If you don't have Java installed, you're going to need to install Java and then make sure to restart your computer after it's installed. Our first step for installing through Windows is we're going to jump into Google and we're going to search up MultiMC download. And once we've pulled that up, we're just going to jump into the official MultiMC website. And you can either click on download or scroll down because we're going to be clicking on the Windows install. This isn't an installer, it's going to be a zip file. So you're going to click on that and you're going to need to move it into a folder where you can extract it later on with either 7-zip or WinRAR. So once it's downloaded, go ahead and click and drag that file into the folder that you've set aside just for this and go ahead and right click it so that you can extract it. Once it's done extracting, click into that new folder that you've created and you're going to need to look for the multimc.exe. You can right click this application and you can create a shortcut or you can send it to desktop if you want it to be convenient. And then on the desktop, all you need to do is click on the multimc.exe shortcut that you've created. And it's going to ask you what language you want for multimc. Keep in mind that some of these languages are more complete than others. Some are at 100% and some are less than. Go ahead and click on one that's more complete and then click on next. This next screen is about Java. Since we just installed Java, we can leave it on the default section. However, you may want to change the memory allocation or how much memory your computer is using, depending on your device's RAM. For example, if you have about 8 gigabytes of RAM, you might want to set the maximum memory allocation to about 4096, which is 4 gigabytes. And if you have 16, you might want to do 8. Around half your RAM is usually a good amount. Once you set your RAM, then you can go ahead and click on next at the bottom right of this page. Then on the analytics page, you can enable or disable analytics to help the developers improve the program. Once you've decided, then you can click on next and MultiMC is ready to go and you can start adding your mod packs. For the Mac or OS X installation, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump into Google Chrome or Safari. Any browser will work really. And you're going to want to head into your search bar and type in multimc.org. Once you type that in, go ahead and press enter and it's going to take you to the MultiMC website. From there, go ahead and click on the download and install tab. You're going to see a bunch of different files for installing. Click on the one at the top that says it's for Mac. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and click on your downloads at the top right and search for it in Finder. From there, double click on the file and extract into an application. From there, you can go ahead and click and drag that into your applications folder and then click on your applications folder and then launch or double click on the MultiMC launcher. Make sure to open it. And once it's opened, it's going to prompt you to select a language. Keep in mind that different languages are at different levels of completion. So when you're selecting your language, make sure that it's a little more complete. 
and then click OK. And then it's going to ask you if you have Java installed. And if you do, click OK. Or if you don't, go ahead and install Java. From there, you're going to need to allocate how much RAM is set to your multi-MC or Minecraft when you play it. Let's say that this device has 8 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to set the maximum to 4 gigabytes. Click Finish once you've selected your RAM. And then for analytics, if you want to support them in this way, then enable analytics and then click finish. And once you've done that, then you have MultiMC installed on your Mac or OS X device. And now we're going to be logging into MultiMC. Our first step is we're going to be clicking on profiles at the top right corner of the application. Then click on manage accounts. From there, you can go ahead and click on add at the top right of this new window and just enter your Minecraft account email and password. And once you've entered that, then you can go ahead and click OK. Now that you've entered that, then you can go ahead and close out this window. And then you can go ahead and add in your first mod pack. Our first step in adding a mod pack is we're going to go ahead and want to find a mod pack that we'd like to use on a website like CurseForge, something that's safe and secure for downloads. Once you're on a website, then you can go ahead and find a mod pack that you would like to install by scrolling down and exploring for mod packs. We're going to use this mod pack for our example today. And once you're there, you're going to need to navigate to the files tab. From here, you're going to need to scroll down to the recent files part of the page and make sure that you download one of the latest versions of the mod pack or one of the recommended ones at least. Then you can click on the name of one of the recommended files. And then you're going to want to click on the download button that's next to the install button for the Twitch app. Once it's done downloading, then you can open up MultiMC. And then you're going to want to click on add instance at the top left of MultiMC and then click on import from zip. Then click on browse, which is going to open up your file explorer and you're going to need to look for the downloaded compressed file of the mod pack that you just downloaded. Double click that folder or click the folder once and then click on open. And then click on OK on MultiMC. And it'll start extracting the mod pack into MultiMC all by itself. It'll download all of the mods. It'll set the profile for you so that once it's done downloading and once it's done extracting, all you're going to need to do is double click on the fire icon and it'll download all of the Minecraft files for you once you do double click on the fire icon. and. Once the game has actually launched, then you're ready to play your mod pack. Simple as that. One common issue that may arise is insufficient memory allocated to Java. Mod packs can be pretty large, as we mentioned earlier in the guide, so it was suggested to raise your memory during the installation process. If you have spare memory available on your computer, you can always add more this way. In MultiMC, you can click on settings at the top left of the page, and then you can click on Java, to get to the page where you add more memory. Or if you're editing for a specific mod pack, then you can right click the mod pack and then click on edit instance. And then click on settings. On the Java tab, you're gonna wanna click on memory if you want to edit the memory at all. And then once you do, just add more memory to the maximum memory allocation. And then all you need to do from there is click on close at the bottom of the new tab, and then run your mod pack. Another issue that may occur on MultiMC is not being able to log in. If you can't log in, then a quick way to solve this would be clicking on profiles at the top right and then clicking on manage accounts. From there, click on the account that's giving you trouble and then remove account to the right. Then once the account is gone, you can click on add to the right as well and re-log in with your Minecraft information. If this still doesn't work though, then what you're going to need to be checking for is the auth at the bottom right of the screen. Depending on your theme, you're either going to get a check mark or it's going to be green if it's on, and then an X or a red box if it's off. If it's off, that means you're not going to be able to log in and you're going to have to wait before you can play. Well folks, that's all I've got for you today. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.